each week in my Facebook group, Two Old Cars Mixed Media, we spin the wheel for a weekly prompt or a weekly challenge. And every week, Cindy and I, Cindy from It Doesn't Have to Be Perfect, and I create a project with the items revealed on the spin. So let me tell you how that works. We spin the wheel. Each spin delivers a mixed media item. Those mixed media items can be used to create a project of your choice. And of course, we invite everybody in the group to show us their interpretation of those three items. So let's turn it over to Cindy to start our spin. And I'm spinning for the Wheel of Wonder Weekly Challenge for May the, f May the 7th. A paper clip. Second item. Junk mail. Third item. Something from nature. So that is May the 7th. Paperclip, junk mail, and something from nature. My name is Peggy. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment to subscribe, and of course that notification bell will let you know when I upload additional content. This video is going to be about my interpretation of that challenge. So I'm starting with this piece of direct mail that came during election time. It's been in my, my cabinet for a while. The maple leaves and of course the paper clip. So I'm going to cut that down and I have the, the sizes and dimensions here. So we will be utilizing this six inch by three inch piece of cardstock as our base for this particular project. I pulled my scoring board out, but decided I'm just gonna freeform fold that. I think it, that will work fine. I want it to um, fold over to kind of hide that paper clip. And of course, fold over again to create our little side pocket. So just, you know, kind of lightly fold it first before you make your creases. So now that I have that, I'm going to just take a quick measurement on this and see what I have so I can uh, determine the middle and cut a little, I call it a thumb hole, to uh, be able to pull whatever we stick down in that pocket out with ease. And now to just cover up the back. So I'm laying it down on a, um, I started with a piece of scrapbooking paper, but decided, yeah, I'm going to use uh, coffee stained paper. And this is kind of some scrap that I have laying around. I'm pulling out my art glitter glue to get a good adherence and going edge to edge with that. And we'll just um, lay this down and then trim it up. And we'll use this as the base for our project. So it's, it, and it's just your basic coffee stained typing paper or copy paper. Now I'm just going to retrain those folds, get this trimmed up, and I'll come back in with that hole punch that hole punch. I used a one inch hole punch, so it creates a dainty little thumb hole. I'm just putting it over the top and punching it once again to get that nice and crisp. I have a little bit of wax on there. This was a scrap piece and I had it, used it kind of to lay over my, my waxing project. So I do have some wax on there and I, I need to decide what I'm going to do about that, but we'll deal with that a little bit later. So now to add our bit of nature in, we have our, our direct mail piece or our junk mail piece and I've pulled my little tiny gel press out and I just want to lay some color down on this coffee stained paper and I've chosen a bright yellow and we'll just get color on there's no rhyme or reason about what I'm doing I'm just smushing it using my gel press to spread it out and then just dabbing it and I will ink around the outside edge of this with a vintage photo just to give it definition and antique it up a bit. 
uh, the outside edge and then I'm going to ink those folds as well. I'm going to scrape that uh, wax off with my fingers here. It'll just peel off and hopefully I can get it up without um, tearing the paper. Okay, that worked. So now let's continue to, to ink it up. And now some orange. These are colors that I don't often choose. And when I went to choose colors for this, I thought I'm going to, I'm going to pull something out that I don't use often. And these two colors are the first two that, that came to mind. So I'm going to lay the maple leaf down and get a good coat of paint on the bottom of those leaves so that we can pick up that veining. So I just put another piece of paper over the top and ran my brayer over the top of the leaves to make sure that I had pushed them down into that paint. And as you can see, I picked them up and just used them as a stencil on, on the front of this piece. So I like the way that looks. That came out, that came out nice. I, I like the color combination actually. And now I'm just picking up some orange paint around the edges just by dipping that or touching that down to the gel press. getting ready to glue this but let's stick that um, paper clip in there first and then we'll glue that side down which will secure the paper clip one because we're going to put the glue on the paper clip and glue this down to it so it's going to keep that paper clip in there nice and secure. I want that paper clip to stick up just a tiny bit um, so we can attach a ribbon on it. And I'm just using what's left on the gel press to put some color on the back. Not that we're going to see it much, but if you do take it off, it would be nice if it was synchronized with the front. And there. It's starting to take shape. I'll just get rid of the excess ink on my little patch paper here. And I'm I'm kind of excited about this catch paper. This is the piece of paper that I coated those cyanotypes on. And when I finish with it, I'm going to take it outside and see if that all will turn a cyan blue where that um, those chemicals have, have laid on that paper. Back to this project. We will glue the sides down to create that little pocket. And that's pretty, pretty much finished for that particular part of it. So we'll let that glue dry and just take some measurements here in a second and determine exactly what size we need to cut a piece to go on the inside of that pocket. So there are your dimensions for that. And this was the piece that we put over the gel press to make sure that we were adhering the paint to the veining and I think we'll use this on our little note that is inside this pocket. So let's get some coffee stain paper down on this first and round off the corners with the crocodile. And I pulled out this little leaf stamp and I think I'm just going to dip it in the vintage photo and put it on the coffee stain paper and where that leaf goes over the top of it, you'll be able to see a slight faint image of that leaf if you look really close. So it's kind of a leaf within a leaf. And I think that adds just a little bit of interest. If you're looking. And now we'll round those corners off and see that fits down in there nice. But I would like something that you don't have to dig at this little pocket to get that out. 
So let's ink up the edges first. And let's just grab an extra piece of that cardstock. And I have this um, coffee filter that I had put a script stamp on that's left over from another project. So I'm just going to wrap that around. And it's kind of transparent, so you can see faintly the wording that is on that piece of direct mail or that piece of junk mail. So we'll just glue this down. We'll give that some rounded corners, ink it up. and attach it to this. And I'm just going to glue that down. This glue holds really tight, so I'm not worried about, about it coming off. And just going around the outside edges and making sure all that paper is down and secure and everything is neatly trimmed and we're ready to go. So see that sticks out kind of and gives you a little piece to grab. And now we'll come back in with the copper liquid pearls and just give it a, a little more decoration. So I'm just adding some liquid pearls to the little pullout note, adding some liquid pearls to the front. And to create a little tie on the top of this to attach to that paper clip, I'm just going to cut a thin ribbon of cheesecloth. So that looks nice now tied up and just tied in a tied in a knot at the top of that paper clip. So now to just finish it off I've pulled out the word memories from the Tim Holtz chat pack and I'm just inking around the outside edge of that with an orange and I'll glue that down there at the top and then this little orange note will fit down inside that and I'm going to add a couple of little dots of the copper liquid pearls on either side of that word memories and I think we will call that a finished project. The three items have been used. The junk mail, the card that we started with, the paper clip, and of course the piece from nature which I pulled some leaves off of my maple tree, used those to create a stencil and stencil the leaf pattern onto this project. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will share what you create in my Facebook group. Come on over. The link to the group is in the description. And once again, I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. Please subscribe and your likes are always welcome and they do benefit my channel and I enjoy your comments and appreciate your shares. So thank you so much for coming along with me in this project and I shall tell you bye for now.